tackle uh, a version of the Purcell Prusik tonight. So just real quick, there's a bunch of different ways everybody ties their Purcells. Different, you'll have people with frost knots and things like that. We typically just have a bite here, two bites down here. That way we can get the full throw of it. Some people like to have a connection point up here. For us, it just takes up room. So as you can see, a bunch of different configurations. This is an asymmetric Prusik tied on a Purcell. So it's a 3-2. Uh, here's a regular uh, symmetric, which is a 2-2. And then this is actually... Uh, what we're going to look at tonight, which is kind of a newer version that we just started. So with that, we're using an Aramid versus a nylon on this one, mainly because one, yeah, it's a friction. Number two, we get a little bit more strength, but number three, we are going to be doing some different stuff with this Purcell. We started using it for some not passing, uh, whether we're repelling or whether we're doing not passings within a mechanical advantage system. So figured we'd uh, go with an Aramid so we wouldn't have uh, any thermal issues on it. So real quick, when we're looking at tying this one, there's really not a name for it. For So for now, we'll just call it the Element Purcell uh, for lack of anything else. We're going to take a good 12, 14 inches uh, of tail that we're going to have on there. That's what we're going to be wrapping it with. And we're just going to tie figure eight, figure nine. Uh, this is This part will get loaded, so if you want to be able to untie this fairly easy you might want to just hit with a figure nine figure ten something like that so we'll kind of push that in there clean it up just a little bit and then then we have this tails to work with we're using in this portion a 15 foot section that's obviously doubled over uh, our purcells are usually anywhere between a 10 foot to a 15 foot we're using this one for some not passing so we're making it a little bit longer so just so you can kind of see what we're doing on this one we're going to hold that and let the let that knot we just tied kind of hang behind the other two strands which forms our loop and for ease of this we're just gonna hook this on here so you can kind of see what we're doing so you're gonna come in any distance that you want we're just forming the two bottom loops while we do this right now and we're gonna spread those last two legs out kind of jam that portion into the crotch of that knot now this next part is just gonna be the bottom part of a VT Prusik which is just a, a French braid so you pick one side or the other to go over first and then you capture it with the other leg on there we're going to keep these fairly tight and so whichever one is on top here it goes around first because it's going to be on the bottom and the back and then you just alternate between what you have in the front and the back just like so so for one person you're probably good with three of these we're going to be using some two person loads on this so we're going to tie probably right around five i would say here See where we're at here, one, two, three, four, we'll do one more. And then at the very end of this, with our tails, we're gonna finish this just like you do um, when you do your, your dog and tails, and that's just gonna be with a regular square knot. Oops. So when this comes over, we're gonna finish it here not that in and you'll see while we load this uh, and I'll actually grab a carabiner so we can kind of see this a little bit better so when we're loading this you'll see that this kind of spreads out grabs really really good yet we can still break that even under load and move that and adjust that in either one of our directions it grabs real solid and for some of the not passing videos that we're going to be doing and showing you how to use this within not passing whether you're repelling or in a mechanical advantage system you'll kind of see the advantage of being able to have this loaded and i hate to say this in a video you can actually milk this out similar to your dog and tails like that it grabs really good surface area and then to break it it's just really simple even under load and that thing will adjust and then retighten on there and that is the element purcell